From Louisville, Kentucky in the KFC Yum Center, it's the 2012 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Second round action coming your way from the South Regional. Mark Brown with you throughout our coverage here on ESPN. Kentucky, okay. the number That's one amazing, seed, huh? and Western Kentucky, the number 16 seed. And we've got uh, quite a competitive ball game going at the moment between the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky and their cross-state rivals and much more heralded Wildcats of Kentucky. This action coming out of the South region. Kentucky, the number one seed in the region, and in fact, the number one team in the nation. Kraken also has the defending champion Connecticut, though they seem to be a much more weakened team coming in as the number nine seed. This section also has VCU made the final four, three final four teams in that section of the South region. Further down in the bracket, you can see the power teams there are Duke and Baylor. They've got to like their prospective first round matchups to be sure. that action coming your way tomorrow. Notre Dame and Xavier Duke and Lehigh get things going in the Greensboro pod of the South region as the second half of the second round gets underway tomorrow. Second round uh, also known as the round of 64. Remember there used to be a 64 team field and even bracket then they added a 65-64 playing game now. The first four of the past couple nights filling out what has become now the second round, which has begun today. But an entertaining start to this game, a battle of TJ's Kentucky Terrence Jones with eight points to lead the number one ranked Wildcats. Western Kentucky being kept in by the hot shooting of TJ Price, who has 10 points on three of four from the field. Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery are your game announcers in Louisville. Let's get back to them. Beg your pardon, Kyle Wilcher during the timeout off the bench. I, I, I was just disconcerted there because I've been insulted by the best. I've never been called a chippy <laughs> a hanger. A chippy hanger? Yeah. Well, Wilcher is a guy that can shoot it from deep, and uh, John was raving about his post moves. A nice job getting it inside here. Here's Marcus Teague. Spot up three. No, not this time. That's Davis, offensive board. Well, he's three for 19 now from deep. But that will come eventually. It's a nice looking stroke. Teague looks back at John Calipari. Wiltshire wearing number 33, another freshman out of Portland Jesuit High School. And there's their dribble handoff and a lock low. What? Tell you what, that, that is a nice move right there. Yes, Even it with is. The shove. Yes. A giant step oh. for mankind as he stepped in the lane. Foul is on Ting a Cole. And right here, no, everybody playing straight up. A Cole doing a pretty good job just forcing him into a tough shot. I foresee him facing the basket in the future. Yep. Yep. I think so. Even though he'll have a post up game. Are you suggesting the future's not in Lexington? <laughs> <laughs> Get exclusive in-game video highlights, up to the minute scores and stats of all NCAA March Madness games at NCAA.com. You know, it's interesting because John Calipari has a reputation in the country of being the master of the one and done player and John insisting to us yesterday he hates the rule mm -hmm. and uh, he would like to see some changes in it. But uh, that is the rule. That's the way it works. Uh, He's had so many good kids uh, prosper at the next level, too. Look at him. Beautiful. Little kiss shot on the runner. But Davis just hurries, impacts with changes. Davis again, prowling the perimeter. Here's Wilcher. A nice cross screen to get Davis in the box and a little late with the pass. Yeah. And well then the reach around, knocked it away, but Kentucky's got it back. So we've got Teague, Davis, Wilcher, Lamb on the floor. Five on the shot clock. Teague takes the jumper. I don't know that he wanted it. Tell you that empty trip just because they didn't time the delivery to the box. Look at the seal. A call. Good job. Khalil McDonald, the senior guard, will be at the line when we come back. Tournament second round, West Virginia and Gonzaga. They'll be going head-to-head -head from Pittsburgh. 
Part of our all day, all night coverage of the NCAA tournament. Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery at the moment have the call in Louisville where Kentucky and Western Kentucky are battling it out in the first half. Let's get back to it. On to Georgia. Yes. Good man. Started out with uh, Rick Barnes, as you know, up in Providence. We've got some interested visitors here watching the game. Yukon Huskies, they will take on Iowa State in the nightcap. In the second of the South Region second round games. 18-14. Little steps there. You now Cole's got Wilshire. He's got to be careful. He was helping out. Wilshire's going to bite him with threes. If he stays in the lane, just content to look and block shots. Third turnover now for the Wildcats of Kentucky. 30 and 2 for the season is Kentucky. Western Kentucky 16 and 18. Had that rough start at 5 and 11. Coaching change made. Nice pass. And look at that. He fought wow. it instead of catching it. Fant. Darius Miller here's for three. Rebound Hilltoppers. But well, the Hilltoppers can push. Great balance by KU, though. Kentucky. McDonald for three. No. Another springboard rebound. This by Michael Kidd. -Gur Here's Wiltshire. This is what you call. Yeah, exactly. No. Uh, you just can't stay up on it. That's a tough matchup. He's an unerring deep shooter. A goal. Nice block by the big fella. Yes. Wiltshire. Kyle Wiltshire with the block. Just not a jump shooter from deep. You got to learn the whole game when you play for Cal and seals that baseline and then a nice job going straight up. Now Wiltshire John Calipari saying oh, yesterday with us here. he's got a huge and upside. Mm -hmm. and his post game he said is what's amazing best, about him the is they don't need it with this group. How about this one? Ooh, count the basket. Score the goal. Uh, we saw the deep jumpers and the ability from long range and taking it into the mid market. No cap on this move. A little kiss and a rat that time. They are playing with confidence. And T.J. Price, the freshman out of Slidell, Louisiana. There you go. He's got 13 of 17 points. T.J. Price, the 6'3 guard. That's a pretty good start. The NCAA. There's that little flex screen. They love to run this for Gilchrist. They do it so successfully. He is a matchup nightmare. Speed and strength, size, whatever you need, tough to control. Kid Gilchrist is. Freshman out of Somerdale, New Jersey. Now Price. They just rode that flex screen against Vandy. And give him as many touches as they can, Gilchrist. Moving screen, Zolo. Now let's take a look at T.J. Price. Well, we saw the load up deep. I mean, this is one where you just don't show quick enough. You can't go under on him. But how about the body control? The mid-range game, something lacking when you shoot as well as he does from deep. But he's got it all, particularly early tonight. Wildcats by three, 9.49 to go. Terrence Jones, another guy that can really do his job on the box. Nice bowl, goodness. Uh, and the basket. That, what'd you think? I thought that was pretty good defense. I did too. At worst, just to play on. Uh, nice coordination. You seal the baseline, get over in here, and then you get some help from the top side. And if anything, fans trying to give ground there. I just think you just let him score to deuce and keep going. How about that switch of the hands, too? Mm. Terrence Jones, who, like Wiltshire, is out of Portland, is at the line. Uh, he had a tip in the championship of the SEC facing outward behind his back. I mean, right. he's so strong and clever. Trying to speed him up now with this full court pressure. Baseline jumper Ooh. is good. That's for two. And that's wow. Ting Akol, a young man from Sudan. Played pretty well in the Sun Belt final, that kid. 
He's got an interesting matchup here with Davis. He's going to slough off when he's out. Mm. Beauty inside the yes. three-point line. Don't you like that kid? Darius yeah, Miller. He uh, tough. You know, and he's a fan favorite in mm. Kentucky. Oh, he should be. Yes. Puts it on the deck. Defense. Blocks. You name it. Some big ones against Jeffrey Taylor. Nice fight over the top by Lamb. Crook, not there. Davis, and he's fouled. Number two, not a good one by Crook. Ray Harper started his collegiate. He's from Kentucky. He played at the University of Texas for the late Abe Lemons. Played there for two years, and then when Abe was uh, dismissed as the head coach at Texas, Ray Harper transferred back to his home state, graduated from Kentucky Wesleyan, coached at Oklahoma City, got him into two national championships, also coached at Kansas, at Kentucky Wesleyan, two championships there. He's been around. And a heck of a baseball player, we're talking Yeah, he was on a scholarship for that, played two sports, I think. Played for Cliff Gustafson on uh, one of the great University of Texas baseball teams. Love this kid's attitude too. It never yeah. changes expression. Just plays. He said it's, it's a joy for him to be out there. Much much better job trail. Then he switched that little post rub. Nice fill high low. How about this? And the tip not quite there. Economy off the bench, number 15. And they got him. Uh, that's He's called for the foul. He's pleading. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? It will be ignored, I assure yeah. you. But a nice little tip. The jury's just saying, calm down. You don't want any emotional tirades to cost your team. So Jones is back at the line. Ocaro Akamane, guilty of the foul. This one gets the nice gentle bounce and falls through. Watch every 2012 March Madness game live on your computer, iPad, iPhone, or select Android phones with NCAA March Madness Live. Visit NCAA.com slash March Madness for more information. Well, John really has a lean bench when you think of it, but he rotates them nicely. Gilchrist getting the blow now. Miller back in. And the lead now 28-19 with uh, under eight to go first half. A 10-2 run. But great pressure on him. A nice double screen and a hold on the cut. Well executed. Price was the one trying to fill the box. 7.49 to go, first eight. Western Kentucky against Kentucky. Uh, back in Lewis, Louisville. If you're just joining us, Mark Brown with you here on ESPN. ESPN's continuing coverage of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. A look at our game summary so far. Western Kentucky having trouble putting it in the basket they've taken. 23 shots made, just seven. Kentucky has been much more efficient as the Wildcats come in as the distinct favorite in this one, the number one seed in the region and the number one team in the rankings nationally. A lot more action to come here, and we're back underway from the KFC Yum Center. Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery have the call. Let's rejoin them. McDonald. Look at the pressure on the ball. Now this is what people don't understand. You think of all the glitter of Kentucky. This is hard work. In that case, it was Deron Lamb. Baseline move. Kenny Honeybo. Here's Teague. Six and a half to go, first half. That ball chased down in the corner by McDonald. A chance. Yes, indeed. Gordon, very nice. Wow. And Gordon went down hard. And you know, you got to protect the guy. That was a foul as well on that play in the open floor. Good finish by Gordon, nevertheless. The 
game being played in Louisville, part of the South region. Mark Brown with you here on ESPN. Vern Lundquist, Bill Raftery with the call on this one. Let's head back to them in Louisville. Sure you have over the years done it with them. It's a screen, the two of them. Mortal enemies and now best of friends yes, once exactly. it's over. I'm wondering if uh, Coach Crum made the trip out to Louisville. I don't know. Out to Portland with Louisville. I don't know. Cardinals won earlier today. Here's a foul underneath on Darius Miller, number one. Because, you know, the uh, you mentioned Jim Host earlier in the day about the job he's done. Big Kentucky guy. And he was saying that the coordination between Kentucky fans and Louisville fans is pretty amazing when they have a job to do, like putting a building like this together or any other support necessity. Back screen and then the, the pin at the line. Gordon, five and a half to go, McDonald. Look at the switch. A well, pretty good handle, too. You got to go strong if you go. Oh, he nice got his footwork, huh? How about that? It really was. Hanibo, sophomore from Bel Air, Texas, in the Houston area. Here's Davis. I always let you say those names first. You ever notice? <laughs> I do notice. <laughs> Pretty, huh? Very nice counter, smooth, sky hook like, huh? When he extends that arm like Kareem used to. Best sky hook ever? Yeah. Kareem, I think so. Well, you remember the great hooks, Bob Hoobregs from your old Ooh, neighborhood, right? Hooks Hoobregs. Yeah. University of Washington Huskies. And Davis couldn't get over there because they moved just a step or two. Price has 15 points. And the margin is 9, 34 25, 4, 18 to go. Davis again. Handles the ball pretty well, doesn't he? Good and call. there's a foul on Fant. Let's take another look at this Jabbar like move. To, to be this good, this young is incredible. Sets him up with the dip to the right shoulder, come back to the left. That is gorgeous and unblockable as well. This kid has got some upside. Take it the line. They had a note on Teague the last 16 games how he's been solid 86 assists, solid 37 turnovers. A little blow for the big fella. So Davis sits down. Teague shoots one more. And the lead is back to double digits. It is 11 in Kentucky now in the double bonus for the next four minutes and eight seconds. An old time weave, and we can both relate to that. Uh, they run out. Tough match for Wilshire now. Yes. Price should have taken his guy. Uh, threw it away. A nice double. Well disguised. Time call, 346 to go. Ray Harper's upset. Taking a look at the brackets in the East region, second and third round matchups. We already know that Syracuse and Kansas State are through after victories in Pittsburgh today. Harvard, well, they could not come up with a victory. Vanderbilt taking care of business there in Wisconsin. Absolutely no trouble with Montana. Those last two matchups coming out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mark Brown with you here on ESPN. Our continuing coverage of the 2012 National Championship Tournament. For men's basketball, 36-25, the lead for the Wildcats of Kentucky against Western Kentucky. And problems for Michael Kil Gilchrist inbounding the ball. John Calabari doesn't like that. They'll take another timeout in Louisville. 25, Kentucky 
You just pointed out they weren't quite ready for that little that that right, wrinkle. And uh, John, well, one thing about this guy, he goes right at, he, you might consider these kids extraordinary players. It doesn't matter. If they do something wrong, he doesn't back off. He gets right after them. Was unhappy with their preparation on that inbounds. 11 point Wildcat lead, Oof. make it 13 point Wildcat lead. Good coaches come with something, don't they? To fill at the post and Lamb with the ability to put it on the deck. And that was Duran Lamb who uh, got the basket. He's now got 11 points. Nice job stringing out, they switch it. Anibo. Oh, he backed him. Unfortunately, he discarded. He backed him all the way under the rim. At some point, you got to decide, let me go up strong. Onibo unable to make a decision. Watch how close he gets there. He's got him all the way under the basket. At some point, you got to go up. Or sit down. <laughs> As the case may be. Yes. One or t'other. And now uh, Wiltshire will inbound. We were just commenting to each other during the timeout. Wiltshire has the countenance of a 12-year-old. He's really a baby face kid. Angelic look. I bet you had one of those for oh, I did, yeah. about a half hour. Mine lasted. I was in my mid-40s. <laughs> nice kick. From the corner, no. Rebound Ting a Cole. Here's Price. Well, what a half he's had, huh? That time he puts it on the deck. We've seen everything out of that kid. Deep, middle, pull up. And that time, ripping it to the 10. And he's going to go to the line where for the season he's hitting 71%. This is not the first game for Western on this floor. They actually played Louisville here earlier in the season, lost by 10. Coming up on AT&T at the half, scores and highlights. And the latest NCAA tournament news, that's all coming up on AT&T at the half. In that game against the Cardinals here in downtown Louisville, Western Kentucky had a 13-point lead at one point. Mm -hmm. But uh, kind of the story their year until the last seven games, they wound up losing by 10. They sort of lost their way early, didn't they? Yeah, they, they did, yes. Uh, for Ray to put this together or pull it together speaks volumes about him. Well, it's going to be a task tonight, but they have had, I think it's 12 consecutive games decided by single digits. Here comes Price again. 38-26. Tinga Cole really did a nice job just disturbing Davis. That one's rejected. He took care of that, didn't he? When that happens, here comes Kentucky. Oh, Jones. Tracked it down. Under two to go, first half. You know, the most impressive thing about Davis is running the floor. I, I just think he's phenomenal. That's that lob play they like to run. They don't need it because they let the drive go. And terrific read by Teague. Largest lead of the first half now. It's 14. Price trying to take his guy jump. What a settle here. Goodness. Davis with a rebound. Teague. Wow. No call. Oh! Oh! Goodness! <laughs> Woo! Turn the switch back on. The thunder. As they would say in Norway. Oof. <laughs> Man, oh man. Wow, that is incredible to bring that frame that high and that much under control. Darius Miller's got it. Davis is down. Man in the corner. That's good. Deron Lamb. They can blow you out in seconds. All of a sudden, you're inhaling, gasping. Yeah. 
Well, wasn't that something? Mm. From the corner, a block. Blocked. All right, Bill Referee, take the first one. Wow. This is one of the premier ones that you will see. Meanwhile, the number one seed in the region and in the nation, Kentucky, a 20-point advantage as they've just underway against Western Kentucky in the second half. This game in Louisville, and look out below. Terrence Jones with his second highlight reel slam of this ball game. Jones has 15 points, and he's been very efficient on six of eight shooting from the field. Now another turnover in transition. Fant fouls Jones before Kentucky can get more numbers. But look at this, the trail from the wing. He probably should have got a foul call here too. Look at a call. He gets a whole lot of Jones's body before that throwdown. Probably should have been an and one. There's the numbers. Dominance in the paint right now for the Wildcats, 24 to 10. Not a surprise here in a one versus 16 matchup. And of course, Kentucky really still stinging from the loss in the SEC championship game to Vanderbilt. Kentucky was perfect in the SEC in the regular season, 16 and 0, advanced to the championship game, and then the Commodores spoiled that perfect run. Didn't affect the overall seeding though. Kentucky still rated as the top number one seed among all four regions. A call missing on the jump hook and another rebound for Terrence Jones. Oh, great defense by Fant right there, breaking up what would have been an impressive alley-oop for Anthony Davis. Davis coming from behind to make the block on a call. Kid Gilchrist, lamb, layup. It's just that quick for the Wildcats of Kentucky, who pushed their lead to 50. Lots of places to go. Number one in the nation, Kentucky. In Louisville at the moment, taking on the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky, who are in the red. You see George Fant losing the ball there as he ran into Doran Lamb. A little bit out of control there. It's a 51-21, 28 rather, lead for the Wildcats. No surprise here. The Wildcats, incredibly talented team. That many people think it's an odds on favorite to win the national championship. Baylor and South Dakota State are playing in Albuquerque. We'll keep you in touch with that one. Uh, they're in a timeout over there at the moment, and uh, a possible stunner going on there is South Dakota State making their first ever appearance in the NCAA tournament. Has jumped out to a quick lead over Baylor. One point, they had a 12 point lead in the opening several minutes. So we'll see how that one develops for now. Keep your eyes on the number one team in the nation, the Kentucky Wildcats. Just turned it over there, one of the rare mistakes that they've made today. McDonald gave up the dribble. Zolo, the three point threat, decides to give it up. Price has really been the lone bright spot. 52 in red for you. Zolo had that ball partially deflected by Anthony Davis. And then a foul inside will send Akamune to the line. So with a timeout on the floor in Louisville, it's Kentucky in control with the 23-point lead. The University of Kentucky, the Wildcats with a 63-36 lead, and they're going to add to it there. Michael Kidd Gilchrist looking to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And with that, a timeout on the floor. Just under 12 minutes left in that one. Reaction going on all across the country. In the, the number one seed, the Wildcats of Kentucky. Deron Lamb has his shot blocked nicely by McDonald. Back in transition, but it's a 74-42 lead for Kentucky. Getting to play their first matchup of this tournament in their home state as well as their second, Louisville. Western Kentucky having won in their first four first round game on the tremendous comeback against Mississippi Valley State two nights ago, earning their way into the round of 64 that 
as a 16 seed and have the devastatingly tough Kentucky Wildcats. A ball from the corner. The big man cannot hit. Terrence Jones having an outstanding game. Big man with great skills taking it the length of the court. A call though with a nice block. And now the Hilltoppers in transition. And a three for McDonald. But Kentucky very much in control. Deficit still down by six. Yes, that's Pat Riley, the legendary NBA head coach as well as presidents of the Miami Heat, former Kentucky Wildcat star. Most of us too young to remember that, but was a member of the Adolph Ruffs teams back in the 1960s, before playing in the NBA for several years with the Lakers, before joining their staff. The rest, of course, is history. Let's send it back to Louisville, as Kentucky's got the 20-point advantage. Well, they run that little three-man baseline bump. Van, nice. Had to muscle it up, but he got it to drop. And 81-63 the score with 2.05 to go. Fan has 13, every one of them in this half. Under two. It's interesting, John hasn't really, a lot of guys don't play very often, and he really plays seven people when you think of it. Well, at the seven-minute mark, we were wondering when he might go to his bench and let some of the guys uh, get their name in the yeah. box score. He hasn't done it yet. Well, maybe he thinks they need this, you know, just to get the kinks out, get organized. Hilltoppers, here's Crook. McDonald, why not? Ooh. Why not? Sure. Fill it up. What the heck? Not too bad, huh? No, no, no. Three, is that 13 for him, roughly? I think it is. 13. 15 point margin with 110 to go. See, this team has style. They keep running the double, double tick because of the shortcut by Gordon. And that's a turnover. Now, well, among those in the stands, Pat Riley. And among his many, many, many accomplishments in basketball, a treasured member of uh, the Kentucky teams, 1964-67. He, of course, was uh, a starter on one of the Kentucky teams that lost the NCAA to Don Haskins and Texas Western. That one's over the top. And uh, you were at the game. I was, you know. How about that? Of course, Larry Conley. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of our pals uh, played there, Louis Dampierre. Uh, but Don Haskins' defense was sensational. Today. My high school coach took me to the game, and it was my first NCAA. And I've been to many since, but never with a team, unfortunately. <laughs> it took me a while. <laughs> uh, Pat's done a great job on all levels of basketball. Final 25 seconds. Well, now... Well, Duke John is, Calipari is going to send four young men in with 22. Yeah, I was thinking about Larry Conley that was an analyst. He's just a wonderful guy. And he and I did a game at Bowling Green, Western Kentucky. We went inside. It seemed like it was 45 degrees. While we were inside, a blizzard, the Alberta Clipper came through. Larry and I en route back to Nashville, our car <laughs> Slid off into a ditch. We wound up getting the Nashville airport in a pickup truck. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Wow. Who yeah. was in the back? You were, I can't picture <laughs> you in the back, you know, with the gun rack. No, it was a family of three and Larry and me all in the front seat. It was very interesting. And they were very nice. They want him to shoot. Shoot it. And John will have none of that. And so Kentucky, the top seed in the tournament. No problem at all from the midway point of the second half. And the season has come to an end. Quite a run at the end of the year for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. Kentucky advances to the Saturday game and they will take on either UConn or Iowa State. That game will get a tip time of approximately 920 Eastern.
And the final here, 81 61. Tournament games continue now on CBS, TNT, and True TD. Coming up on TBS, it's Iowa State and UConn. 81 66, the final. We'll send you to our studio after these messages.